Hello, scientists. I am Guanzon, teacher Paul Guanzon. And I am Nam Shen. We are your adventure partners. Well, partner, I think this lesson for sure will be double in fun and learning. and join us as we blast off the time machine for a new learning. Come on, start the machine. Hurry. Come on and join us and let's I Earth. Imagine Earth. Our lesson is for you to master the nature of Earth and life science intended for grade 11 senior high school. Today, we will teleport to the past exploring the geologic time scale, relative and absolute dating, and geologic timeline. For us to be guided in our lessons, here are our objectives. 1. Name and characterize each major division and subdivision in the geologic time scale and describe how relative and absolute dating provide evidence of geologic history. Number 2. Define fossils and each type and determine how they are used to track geologic history. Before we proceed, here are our reminders. Check your prior knowledge of the lesson from your junior high school science subject. Listen and pay attention to the details. And bring with you your paper and pen for jotting down the important concepts in our lessons. Where did you take us? Uh. I really don't know. What is that? Oh, that is nothing. Perhaps. Hey, that's a meteor. It looks beautiful. And it's coming this way. Do something. Wait, what if we see the T-Rex again? Hurry! Whoa! Mom Shay, we're gonna need to answer some questions again. What? Come on! What are the questions? Quick, it's getting closer! What type of rocks are fossils made of? A. Igneous rock B. Sedimentary rock C. Metamorphic rock D. All of the above The answer is B. Sedimentary rock Am I right? Cool! What do you call the person who studies fossils and ancient life? A. Biologist B. Archaeologist C. Anthropologist D. Paleontologist What do you think is the answer? Hurry! Oh yes! You got it! It's letter D. Paleontologist what do you call the process by which the remains of ancient living things are turned into rock? A. Fertilization B. Fossilization C. Fragmentation and D. Metamorphosis Whoa! This one is easy, right? The correct answer is Fossilization Letter B. Whew! What a relief! Look at the size of that thing! Sir Paul, since you paused the meteor from striking, 
Do you have any idea where we are? I think we're a long way from our present time. Gee, you think? I think we are in the Mesozoic era. Era? Do you know what she's talking about, adventurers? Yes, era. Have you heard about the Earth's history through its geologic records and timeline? Oh, I remember. Earth's history including its rock strata, the rock studies and discoveries, as well as the fossils are preserved in one of the most important materials known as geologic record. The geologic time scale is a very important concept in geology because it serves as a standard timeline that is used to describe the age of rocks, fossils, and the events that formed them. Correct! Knowing about how life began in the past and the events and principles behind Earth's history enables us to better adapt to the changes or consequences that we might encounter or experience in the near future. As a part of the new generation, we should be appreciative and accepting of that fact that all the things that are present in our time are the outcomes of Earth's history. So you mean this meteor that's about to destroy all the living things during this time is a good thing? Because it is a part of the Earth's past? Just imagine our present life living with dinosaurs, right? Hmm. No! Hey! Quake up! They're waiting for our next adventure filled learning. Come on! Adventurers! Do you still remember our previous topic on relative and absolute dating? We will need your help to identify the things that happened in our related past experiences. Here are the four scenarios that have happened earlier. Can you help me to identify the correct sequence of the following events? for us to determine which scenario brought us to this exact location that we are in right now. Let's start! The first thing to happen is... Correct! Run away because of the T-Rex! How about the second one? Oh yes! So a meteor in the sky! Whew. Very good! The third one is... Use the portal to go to another time in the past. And last, imagine the T-Rex. Very good. See, now I know you're all paying attention. <laughs> the lesson here is that all of the things that have happened in the past has led us to our future. This is how geologists study the history of our planet, by finding clues and specific scenarios. Where can we find those clues? Well, my partner will explain it to you. Partner? Since the beginning, geologists have been studying the Earth to unwrap the secrets of the past. They have been analyzing rock samples gathered from different continents in the world, including its layers and its correlation to fossils. This is the clue that Sir Paul was talking about earlier. It all comes down to rock samples with evidence from the past. <clears throat> Sir Paul, let's discuss the contents of the geologic time scale to our adventurers. Sure. For a long time now, geologists have been studying the Earth to unwrap the secrets of the past. They have been analyzing rock samples gathered from different continents in the world including its layers and its correlation to fossils. This helps in relating the sequence of events in the Earth's history, which is clearly presented in the geologic time scale. The geologic time scale is divided into a series of time intervals which are equal in length. These time intervals are different from that of a clock. They are divided according to the significant events in the history of the Earth, such as the mass extinction of a large population of fauna and flora. The table represents the division of geologic time in Earth's history that are separated into eons, 
periods and epochs. The Earth's age, which is 4.6 billion years, is separated into different spans of time to clearly indicate the events. Aeons are the largest slices of time, ranging from half a billion to 2 billion years long. There are four eons in the geologic time scale, Hidean, Archaean, Proterozoic, and Phanerozoic Aeon. That's correct! The Hadean, Archean, and Proterozoic Aeons belong to the first Super Aeon called the Precambrian Aeon, which accounts for 88% of the Earth's history. The earliest Aeon is known as the Hadean Aeon. Paleozoic Era Fossils of tribalites and brachiopods were found preserved in layers of sedimentary rocks. The first animal to succeed in adapting itself to breathe air were the amphibians. Marine life also developed and became more abundant and with a greater variety of forms. Different types of plants and ferns grew during this era. It was believed that the remains of these plants formed the huge coal deposits in many parts of the world. Scientists discovered footprints, eggs, bones, and other fossils of reptiles that existed during this era. It is believed that the largest creatures that existed during this era were the dinosaurs and that they were the descendants of the primitive reptiles. However, a recent theory suggests that they were descended from birds rather than reptiles. Reptiles are believed to be the first true terrestrial vertebrates that existed and flourished during this era. The only surviving reptiles today are snakes, crocodiles, turtles, and lizards. Cenozoic Era Different warm-blooded animals like marsupials and primitive mammals existed on the land. Then they develop into modern horses and birds. During this period, humans left their mark on land. Some of the earliest records of humans were stone tools. Partner, are you hearing that? Someone's calling from the portal. Hello, I am Professor Stone, a paleontologist and the inventor of this portal. I am very happy that you were able to use it to travel from the past. Hello, Professor. We're glad to meet you. And I think you're stuck here. Can you teleport us to the present time? Sure, that would be easy enough to do. Stand still, and we will travel to the present time. Welcome to the present time, adventurers. We are here in the Museum of Fossils. Wow, this is great! Based on my readings, scientists like you, Professor Stone, make use of information derived from all of these fossils in order to define and identify different subdivisions in the geologic timescale. Fossils are the remnants or traces of organisms of a past geologic age. That is right, ma'am. Here in the museum, you will find different types of fossils. They are classified into four types, which are based on their formations. We have true form fossils, mold fossils, cast fossils, trace fossils, or ichnofossils. Oh, yes, I know about those fossils. Hmm, I think this one is a true form fossil. Look! The entire animal is trapped and preserved in tar or ice. This one is a hollow impression of a living thing on a rock. It shows that the mold reflects the shape and the markings of the organism. Yes, it is a mold fossil. Look, Sir Paul. This one is somewhat related to what you have there. This fossil was created when a mold fossil was filled with minerals. 
it hardened and developed a replica coming from the original. This is a cast fossil. Are those animal droppings? Yes, they are. These are called trace fossils or ichnofossils. Aside from animal droppings, this type of fossil can be footprints, eggs, or nests of animals. Wow, you really did your research about these things, huh? Well, to add to what you have said, remember that fossils are considered as time indicators. They are used in correlated rocks of similar ages in different regions. They are called index fossils, and they are associated with a particular span of geologic time. Thank you so much, Professor Stone. That gives us information about fossils. Yes, and it's clear to us that Earth's history can be uncovered by studying the different types of fossils. Oh, no problem. I think I need to go now. See you, adventurers. Enjoy your exploration. Goodbye. This time, I will be telling a story which helps us understand our lesson for today. This is written by Patty Hutchison. Are you ready? Okay, listen very carefully. Imagine you are hiking in the woods. As you walk up a steep hill, you find a fossil. It is a mold of many tiny seashells. What would seashells be doing in the middle of the woods? Most fossils are found in sedimentary rocks. These rocks form on the surface of the earth. They record the processes that have happened on the surface, including life. Scientists are able to arrange fossils according to age. This is called the fossil record. By studying the fossil record, scientists have found that the earth and its life forms have gone through many changes in the past. Fossils have taught us how and when rock layers have formed. They have also helped scientists learn about life forms that have come and gone. Fossils have even taught us about the climate of the Earth long ago. The geologic time scale is divided into huge blocks of time called eras. Eras are defined by major changes in the fossil found in the sedimentary rock layers that were formed during those time spans. Now, after hearing the story, let us answer the following questions. Get your paper and pen for you to copy the questions. Don't worry if you cannot answer it right away because you can watch this episode again on Deppin TV YouTube channel. Are you ready? Here are the questions. Number 1. What type of rocks are fossils made of? Number 2. How do scientists arrange discovered fossils? Number 3. How have fossils helped and taught scientists about the history of the Earth? Number 4. Aside from the geological aspect, what other aspects can be predicted by guide fossils? After answering those questions, ask your parents, guardians, or friends to assess your work. Good job, adventurers! Another episode of Earth and Life Science was unlocked today. Come on, Sir Paul! Let's go back to our place. Sure, Mom Shay. But wait! Here is a recap. Number 1. The dating of rock formation is based on relative and absolute dating. Number 2. Earth's history may be described through a geologic time scale. Number 3. Information and evidence about the Earth's past can be taken from fossils. Some fossils are identified as index fossils which are associated with particular span of geologic time. Do you want to know more about our planet? More features and fun-filled experiences on the planet The Harbor's Life. Imagine, Imagine Earth, Earth on, on what, what we will explore, explore tomorrow. tomorrow. 
Imagine Earth.